Hello friends, I'm George, the nice medic gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. Let's finish off the reviews of this week with yet another Paris Corner scent. It's been a Paris Corner review week for me. And spoiler alert, I really really love this one. The fragrance that I'm going to review today is called Kair. Now this is supposedly a clone of Giza's Imperial Valley. I've never tried the original fragrance, but I can tell you that I absolutely love this one. So join me in this video today to see why I love Kair from the House of Paris Corner. Let's start by taking a quick look at the presentation and the bottle design of the fragrance. The fragrance comes packaged in this box that has sort of an interesting uh, coloring pattern on it. On the front you got the name of the fragrance, the name of the company Paris Corner, some more branding on the top and on the back, a sticker of authenticity. On the back you also get the concentration which is EDP, the bottle design which is 100 milliliters and then on the bottom there's production date which reads uh, October of 2023. And once you take out the bottle, this is how it's designed, how it looks, it has sort of an interesting funky design. The cap is plastic, but it's a nice uh, snug fit, you get a, a nice securing click. Uh, it has nice heft to it and uh, all in all it's an you know, interestingly packaged uh, fragrance that has an interesting bottle design as well. The note breakdown of Kair from Paris Corner has the following notes. The top notes are Davana, Italian, Bergamot and Pink Pepper. The middle notes are White Amber, African Rosemary and Oud. And the base notes are Musk, uh, Leather and uh, Haitian Vetiver. I'll show you the spray in action and then I'll tell you about the scent of uh, Kair. The spray is really really nice, puts a good amount of juice and I really like it. And now on to the scent of Kair. Now, Kair opens up very bright, very citrusy. The bergamot uh, note is very, very strong uh, and has quite a lot of freshness. You know, it's aided by something green. Maybe it's a, I pick up something like a mint note in the opening that adds even more freshness to, to the opening of Kair. The rosemary also adds a bit of a sort of a freshness and you get a nice amount of uh, sort of pepperness from the pink pepper note. The opening is really, really fresh and, uh, you know, a little bit spicy and, uh, you know, really bright and I really, really like the opening of this fragrance. But it's not overly fresh because on the background uh, you get quite a lot of sweetness from the amber, you get the leather, uh, you know, immediately after spraying this fragrance and you can feel that woody backbone of the scent as well right after you spray this thing. When this starts to go into the dry down, you start to, you know, gradually lose uh, some of that freshness, but this fragrance, uh, you know, keeps a, a touch of the freshness uh, throughout its life uh, until the deep dry down. On the dry down, the main players are the, you know, the quite sweet amber note, the strong leather note, uh, that uh, woody uh, backbone of the fragrance, and maybe a hint of that oud note as well. It's not a very strong oud note, it's not, uh, you know, animalic or anything like that, it's not challenging and it's very, very easy to wear. The dry down is mainly about the combination of amber, leather and that woodsy notes. It's a very, very nice fragrance, done very nicely, very balanced, uh, you know, you get a nice amount of freshness, a nice amount of uh, spiciness, a nice amount of sweetness as well. The leather is not overdone, the quality here is very, very high and I absolutely love the scent of Kair. Now, as I said in the opening of the video, this uh, fragrance is supposedly a clone of, uh, you know, uh, Giza's Imperial Valley. I've never tried the original fragrance, so I cannot tell you uh, how close Kair is to the original scent, but, uh, you know, one thing that uh, I have taken away from Kair is the fact that I really uh, need or want to try the original scent, because if this is a good clone of the original, then I guess I'll end up uh, loving the original as well. When it comes to performance, Kair uh, is, uh, that's yet another area where Kair has been, a, you know, a very pleasant surprise for me. Performance-wise, uh, this fragrance has been lasting about 89 hours on, uh, you know, on myself, which is a uh, you know pretty decent performance, quite good in my books, uh, and also it's pretty loud in the opening. The projection of this fragrance is pretty pretty strong uh, for up to two, maybe even two and a half hours. Kair will project very nicely, and if you overspray a little bit, this could, could even turn into a full uh, you know a, a room filling type of scent. So performance wise, uh, Kair has been a very very good performer. When it comes to the price tag, I paid about 25 euros to get this fragrance, which in my opinion is, fanta is a fantastic deal because. I've been really enjoying the scent profile, the quality is very good and when you add in the good performance as well at that price point I think this is a real steal. 
Versatility wise, Kair is a pretty versatile fragrance, uh, you know, almost perfectly unisex, maybe leaning a little bit to the masculine side, but still uh, I can see quite a lot of girls wearing this fragrance without any problem. It's a little bit more orientated towards the colder months of the year, more of a nighttime scent in my opinion, but has enough freshness to work even in warmer weather and uh, also to be worn throughout the day. And on to my final thoughts about Kair from the House of Paris Corner. As I said in the opening of this video, I absolutely love this fragrance. And in fact, at this current time, this is probably my most favorite Paris Corner scent in my collection. It's done absolutely fantastic with very high quality, has very good performance. Uh, it has the right amount of spiciness, the right amount of freshness, the right amount of uh, sweetness on the dry down, has a very high quality leather note in here. All in all, it's really, really nicely done and I absolutely love it. Love it. Now, as I said, this is uh, supposedly a clone of uh, Giza's Imperial Valley. I've never tried the original scent, but if you have tried the original scent and if you're looking for a good clone of that one, then probably you need to check out Kair from the House of Paris Corner. Also, if you are intrigued by this uh, combination of a very sweet, uh, very fresh and bright opening with a nice amount of spiciness, the nice amount of leather and uh, sweet notes, uh, then again, definitely check out Kair from Paris Corner. Just keep in mind that this fragrance, I can see why this can be a bit challenging for some people so probably if you're not sure whether you're going to like it just try to sample it first but all you know i really really like Kair and this fragrance gets a love from me and so guys in today's video i showed you a very very nice and interesting fragrance from the house of paris corner that's called Kair. i hope that you found this video interesting if you did give it a like and i also hope that you're going to join me in the next one and until then stay safe and bye bye